Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're discussing Mandela Fix and the like. Thank you for joining in this morning. Welcome all Mandela Effect Deans. Hey guys, I'm going to um, call this one a possible Mandela Effect here. I don't remember um, this line here from Matthew 11, 19. It says here, the son of man came eating and drinking and they say, behold a man, gluttonous and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Uh, I, I believe they are calling him here a drunkard. Why would Matthew accuse? Why, why would they? Why would they accuse him of being a drunkard? Um, I don't understand. You know, gluttonous means greed. Somebody who is uh, eating excessively, and a wine bibber means somebody who is who is like a drunkard. Um, I get the part with publicans and sinners. Publican is a tax collector. Uh, sinners, you know, wisdom is justified of her children. I, I don't understand this, guys. Maybe you can help me out here. I don't remember this line at all. But if you look, pretty much all the translations in Matthew eleven nineteen, they say, The Son of Man came eating and drinking. Behold, a glutton man. Let's see. Okay, the Son of Man, I usually check out the AMPC as a backup here. The Son of Man came eating and drinking with others, and they say, Behold, a glutton and winebibber, a friend of tax collectors and especially wicked sinners. Yet wisdom, wisdom is justified and vindicated by what she does, her deeds, and by her children. So who, I'm just wondering, who are they referring to with her also? They ref I hope they're not referring to our Lord Jesus. Um, and and it is probably referring to wisdom. But at the same time, I think they're mocking our Lord here. I, I don't remember this line at all. Guys, help me out here, please. Because <laughs> um, this one is really kind of getting to me. Um, I can't seem to find much residue. But I, I do find the um, the interlinary. I know that they're mixing and matching different lines in the Bible now. Uh, there's a whole lot of errors. Um, you know, words being swapped out for others, addition of words. So I'm I'm just trying to get your honest opinion here, guys. Cain, the son of the human, eating the man human, um, eating and drinking, and they are saying they're perceiving. Uh, low, okay, perceiving. The man is gluttonous. Eat, he's an eater, meaning he's eat, he eats a lot, greedily. Does that sound like our Lord Jesus? I don't think so. I, I don't think he would be greedy, like hogging everyone's food. He was more of a giver and not a taker. So this, to me, seems like blasphemy. And a wine drinker? Yeah, he drank wine, but I don't think he drank it in large amounts. You know, like a wine bibber. So, I don't know, guys. Help me out here. Um. Anyway, I'm I'm counting this one as a possible Mandela effect. I don't remember this line, guys. Calling Jesus a drunkard and a glutton. Um, thanks for checking out my video. Have a great Mandela effect morning. God bless.